Here they come. Let's see if we get a green flag. Yes. So they're off. Moving down on the outside. We see, whoa, Doug Gore makes for an early break. Going around corner one. He pulls away. Moving away. Moving away. Leaving the pack. Doug Gore is owning this race in this first lap. Coming around, we have Anderson and uh, Coswell. Well, they were only holding Summerbell just for a moment because by the time he went down Pinkett's Bluff, Summerbell is in position number two, and he's moving ahead, trying to catch up with Doug Gore. Doug Gore takes the Caribou's corner nicely, followed by Summerbell. Coming up, Andre Anderson, moving like greased lightning on the outside. Coming around the Jamaica Automotive Association corner. Gore, Summerbell, Anderson. Heading down into the Carib Cement corner. Gore is holding his lead. But I know the big question in everybody's mind is for how long? Because the king is right behind him. Coming around the S's. Followed closely by Anderson. Completing the first lap. Doug Gore in first position. Followed by the King David Somerbell. Not far behind. Coswell and Campbell. Not far behind. Pushing away. George Bailey also in the running. Gore is moving. Moving away, Anderson navigating the corners nicely. But Doug Gore seems to be holding the lead. Love the way he takes that corner at the Caribou sign. Going into the Jamaica Automobile Association corner. Seems as if the king in the total car is closing his gap on Doug Gore. Andre Anderson running in MP3 is in no way staying in the second half of the field. He is staying up there with the leaders. Gore taking the S's with Summerbell right on his tail. Just a little more than a car length between them. Coming up, completing. Woo, as he completes the left. David Summerbell is right on Doug Gore's tail. Whoa! Some late breaking and a lot of smoke in the air. But the King David Somerville is not slowing down. He's going for Douglas Gore. Anderson leading in his class. Coming down at the Pinkus Bluff. It is quite obvious that Doug Gore is much more comfortable in his Audi than he was at the last meet. But Chris Campbell in third position trying to make up some ground. Andre Anderson is an MP3, but he, he is ahead of... Uh, Chris Campbell, the big tussle in the S's now. The two cars everyone is watching today. The Audi versus the Mitsubishi. So far, the Audi has managed to stay ahead. But it is quite clear that Doug Gore has no intention of finishing second in this race. Still leading in his class, Mr. Andre Anderson. One young, aggressive driver on the track. Chris Campbell making his way nicely ahead of uh, Heath Coswell also running MP4 
So in the MP4 category, we have Gore, Somabel, Campbell, Coswell. MP3, Andre Anderson, and uh, Gary Barrett. Number 41, Whittingham, in third position in the MP3 category. Missing from this race is Peter Ray. Look at this now, coming out of corner two. Doug Gore still ahead. Right on his tail. Summer Bell. And Summer Bell is ensuring that Doug Gore has nightmares as he looks in his rear view mirror. He's going for him, but Gore steps on it and moves ahead. Around the corner they go. Summerbell just more than two car lengths behind Gore as they go into the JAA corner. And Gore has a lot of work to do to keep his position. Campbell seems to be relaxing in his position. Coswell coming around behind Campbell. No threat there, at least not now. Coming across, closing. Another lap. And the King is almost beside the Gore. Going around from corner one to corner two. Very close, very tight. And it looks like a very likely place for the King to try to make his move. Not a chance there. Not a chance. Mills. Oh my goodness. The King makes his move. But no. Doug steps on it. Makes his way around the Caribou's corner safely ahead of David Somerville. But Somerville is not easing back. Going down into JAA corner. He is on the tail. Doug Gore will have no peace until he gets to the end of this race because Somerville is not easing up. Going through Carib, Carib Cement Corner. Still Gore ahead of Somerville through the S's. Coming around now to complete another lap, which is the final lap. Somerville sounding his alarm. Stepping on it, the engine roaring as he bears down. Less than a car length between them, coming from corner one to corner two. Heading now into corner three. David Somerville Jr. is right on, is right on the heels. Will he be able to make it around Douglas Gore? It is something that Gore does not want. We know that for sure. Gore moves away. Here comes uh, an opportunity. It's always uncertain when there's a car in front of you. Well, that was easy. Doug Gore goes around the car. He just left. So does Somerville as they come around on the back stretch. Very close. Very close. Going into the Carib Cement corner. If it is going to happen, it has to be now. If it's going to be happening, it has to be now. And it doesn't seem as if it will. Somerville moving for Doug Gore. And the crowd roars. That was close. That was a close one. Gore Somerville making it across the finish line. That was a race. That was a race. And the crowd goes wild.